I just wanted to do a quick demo of um, touchpad gestures in elementary OS 5 over here and elementary OS 6 over here. Bump that brightness so it stops uh, flickering on me. So in elementary OS 5, we don't have touchpad gestures by default, but if you install a third-party tool like Tushag, uh, you can implement gestures. Here I'm doing a three-finger gesture and for workspaces. And on the surface, it works pretty well. It looks, looks pretty good, but as soon as you start using it, you'll notice a few things. First, it's not um, a one-to-one -one gesture with switching. So if I try to switch workspaces here, you'll see there's a preview on the left that comes up, and then I let go and it goes. And that works, but it's not as smooth as just actually moving the workspaces when you move your fingers. It's the same for the overview animation. So when you start moving your fingers up, it just animates into the view as if you had hit the keyboard shortcut. It doesn't smoothly track your fingers. Uh, in contrast, on Elementary OS 6, we are actually implementing smooth gestures. So as you move your fingers across the trackpad, the, uh, the gesture follows your fingers. Similarly, going into the overview. This one's really nice. I love this one. Um, and because it's all been, being done live, uh, you could have a video playing, you could have, you know, something running, oops, turn off caps lock there, something running in your terminal if you can type when you're leaning over a keyboard. Yeah, something running in your terminal, updating dynamically while you're doing this gesture to move things around. Um, it's super nice. And again, over here on Elementary OS 5, it just animates when you go into the view or when you do the gesture doesn't track your fingers smoothly. I think that's the main difference. Um, there's a couple of small differences between um, here in Elementary OS 6, we have a little gap between the workspaces because the spatial model is that workspaces live on top of this system gray layer. So I see when you push into this, the, uh, the other displays or the other workspaces come in, peek in from the side. Uh, when you swipe across here, there's a little bit of that gap. As opposed to Elementary OS 5, where it's kind of hard to see because it's so fast. There's no gap between the displays. The wallpapers just kind of butted up against each other. Uh, and when you go into this overview, where those other workspaces come from is kind of weird. It kind of comes from underneath the main display, or the main workspace. Um, so that's a little better in Elementary OS 6, where they actually come from the outside. So yeah, overall it's way smoother in Elementary OS 6. Again, this is included by default in Elementary OS 6. Uh, this is a third-party tool called Tushag in Elementary OS 5. Um, huge thanks to Jose, the author of Tushag, who's been working and in integrating Tushag into Elementary OS uh, directly instead of it being a, a third-party tool on top. That's it.